Hello, and welcome to Church for Kids Holy Week devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have an activity, and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks, and I'm the Executive Pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today, we're reading from Tommy DePaula's book of Bible stories, and we're going to be reading about the Last Supper. Let us hear these words. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples telling them, go into the city. A man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters, the teacher asks, where is my guest room? Where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. He will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve. While they were reclining at the table eating, he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They were saddened, and one by one they said to him, Surely not I. It is one of the twelve, he replied, one who dips bread into the bowl with me. The Son of Man will Go just as it is written about him, but woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not even been born. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, eat this, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, he said to them. I tell you the truth. I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. These are the words of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. So today we celebrate and we celebrate the story. However hard and complicated and difficult that story is for us to read and reread and reconsider. And I invite you today to find this scripture lesson in your own Bible. I'll give you a hint. It's in more than one of the Gospels. So look there, read that, read that with your family, someone you care about, find a comfortable place to read and consider. And next time you find yourself in church or otherwise enjoying and being part of the communion celebration, consider this. Consider this story and the sacrifice made for each of us. Let us pray. Creator God, for all that you have given us that we do not understand, for the mysteries of faith, we are grateful. We ask that you be with us this day and every day as we continue to consider and strive and read and study and be with you and hear your breath. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day.